Hello, this is Bill with MoneyForCoffee.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add Namecheap domain to GetResponse. Okay, the first thing you do is just log in to uh, GetResponse. If you don't have uh, GetResponse yet, you can get it for completely free and I'll have a link below this video in the description. You don't need any um, credit card or PayPal or anything. They have a forever free account. But in, in the first 30 days, you also get the um, you get all the uh, options to try out. That part of it's a trial, and then you can decide if you want to keep those uh, those other options and enhancements. Then you can. If not, you can just keep the free one. Okay, so you go to the dashboard, and then go to the top where you have the like little guy, the profile, and click on it. Okay. Then you come down and hit manage account. Okay, then you come over to the left hand side and you want to click on landing page domains. So just click on that. Okay, and then you just come to the top and click on the top right and just click on add domain so just click on that okay and then once you're in here you just add your domain name okay I'll just paste it in here and right here I guess you can add a www or you can put in a subdomain here but we're not going to do that so I'll just click add domain Okay, and then after this, you have to go to Namecheap and change the DSN. But I want to show you something else first. Here's another way that you can do the same thing. Another way that you can add Namecheap domain to get response. Just go onto the dashboard here and go up right here where it says Tools and just click on Tools. Then come down until you hit landing pages and just click on that okay it'll show you the landing pages that you have and just go all the way to the right and there's those three little dots and you want to hit edit settings okay then you just scroll down and then right here you can have you can add a new domain so we already did it but that's two different ways you can do it you would just add the domain right here where it says example.com and not the www just, just as it appears right there and then you can also add a subdomain here and that's it the, my dogs of course I'm making a video they start barking but okay we'll just hit cancel because we're not going to do it that way since I already did it the other way but that's just another option okay and then once that goes through We'll just go, after it goes through, it takes a little while to go through with Namecheap, with your DSN, DNS rather. You'll just click here and it'll show up in here, which is already starting to show up. And you'll just select this. But it's not active yet because I have to change the uh, DNS. So we just head over to Namecheap. And you just scroll down where it's just scroll down. Well, first, let me show you. Go to your domain list. And you just pick the one that you want to use and hit manage. Wait for it to load. And then just scroll down where it says name servers. And then you just click on the arrow. And you want to pick custom DNS. You just come down here where it says change DNS settings right here and just click on this. Okay, now we scroll down. Scroll down slowly. Okay, we want to grab these right here. And you want to copy it. You just want to paste the first one in here where it says name server one. Just hit paste. Then we just grab the second one and just copy that one. 
And we'll just paste that one in. Paste. Okay, then you go to your right and just click this little green uh, check, check mark to save it. Let's do that. Okay, and then it can take up to 24 hours. So I'll show you that it works. So I'll keep checking back, but I won't, you obviously don't have to wait that long. So, <laughs> but all right. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if this worked. Okay, so you come on to your, just log in to your account. And if you don't have one, like I said, there's a link below this video in the description. It's completely free. So once you're logged in, just come over to the left to tools, click on that, and then come down to where it says landing pages. You want to click on that. Okay, now we want to scroll down all the way to the right and click on these three little dots. And you want to hit edit settings. Just click on that. Okay, then scroll down. And now here's where we added our domain in. Okay, when I first did it, it took it did take on this time it did take about 24 hours so about a day but it still didn't work so what I had to do is afterwards after a day I came back in here clicked on this and then reselected this and then I came down hit save and publish and then it, it works fine and I'll show you okay I'll just show it to you guys okay I'll paste that website in here and then just hit enter and there we go it works so like I said if it doesn't work the first time just go back like I showed you reselect it go to the bottom hit save and then hit publish and that's what I had to do to get this to work but if you found this video helpful um, please like and subscribe that way you can always refer back to it in your liked videos okay guys take care and thank you